please stand. I will ask you to stand for the singing of our school hymn. I will invite Alec Hodgson to come to the stage to play the school hymn. Alec is our grade 11 piano player who's been playing for three years for us. So you can refer to the screen for the words of the school hymn. Thank you, you may be seated. Thank you, Alec. Um, Alec has been playing piano for us at the um, Senior School Assemblies all year. Um, what I did not say was we don't ever sing the school hymn, so that was the first time he's ever played it. Um, and I believe you got the music yesterday, so good job, Alex, thank you very much. Um, I've been asked to uh, um, to apologize for what's going to happen. 
Um, we've been having issues with um, the um, sewer system in Westmount. Um, and so the boys all know what I'm talking about. Um, and it's, uh, um, we've, had we've had plumbers in and engineers in, and, and it, we, it's not our problem, but at three times a day, mid-morning, um, early afternoon, and right around 6, 6.15, there's going to be about a five-minute period where there's going to be a smell in the room. And uh, um, anyway, it's, it's not, and I'm very, very sorry. It's just um, what we've been dealing with for a few months. Anyway, uh, <laughs> this is off to a fantastic start. Here we go. <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. Whenever I meet prospective students, one of the first questions I always ask them is what their favorite subject is. And I will then follow up with the question, why? And nine times out of 10, it has very little to do with the subject matter and almost entirely to do with the teacher teaching that subject. At this time, I would like to thank and acknowledge the entire Selwyn House staff. This group of dedicated professionals have truly inspired. They have proved through a genuine commitment and love of what they do that they are a special group of people. It has been my honor to work closely with such a dedicated, effective, and wonderful group of educators. Teaching is all about passion and relationships. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to help me acknowledge and thank the Sound House staff. <laughs> we are going to get right into the subject awards. So I'm going to ask Mr. Alex Becker to present the next two prizes. Mr. Becker is the head of our arts department. I would like to give the McCall Prize for Art to Alec Hodson. Alec to stay for a second. I'd also like to ask Mr. Becker to present the prize for music this year in a tie with Alec Hodgson and Jackie Sun. While well, they're having their picture taken, I'd like to invite Ms. Leanna Palco head of our senior English department to the stage, please. Ms. Leanna Palco will present the Byron W. Harker Prize for Distinction in Literature to Henry Feltham. While they're having the picture taken, I'd like to invite Ms. Samara Sayeg, our head of our senior math department, to present the next couple of prizes. The Moody Prize for Distinction in Mathematics in CST goes to Charles Felger. Prize for Distinction in Mathematics at the SN level to Nate Middleman. Yeah. And the Prize for Distinction in Calculus to Ikai Zhao.
while they're having their picture taken, I'd like to invite Ms. Mediev Tedio to the stage to present the next several awards. Madame Terrio is the head of our social studies department at the senior school level. The Vincent Prager Award for Law to Laurent Grolo. For the record, is he's a Giants fan and I'm a Cowboys fan, that's why. <laughs> and the DW... <laughs> the DW Christie History Prize is a tie to Acuente LeBorn and Ethan Kimmel. two prizes, the prize for distinction in political science and the Trebeskoy Prize for Social Studies to Gabriel de Carvalho. issues with this trophy because the glass piece is not attached <laughs> and unfortunately giving that to teenage boys is not always smart I might ask Miss Terry to stay but also I would ask Miss Lucy Martin to join Miss Terry on stage because the following young man is winning two awards the prize for distinction in economics presented by Miss Terry and the Patricia Marsh drama prize to the grade 11 student who in senior place has demonstrated creativity joie de vivre and all around good fellowship William Carvello Gertin. Can I ask Ms. Martin to stay, please? Um, the Patricia Marsh Drama Prize is, is a tie. Also winning a prize for senior plays, again, demonstrating creativity, joie de vivre, and all-around good fellowship, Michael Papaspiros. Thank you, Ms. Martin. I'd ask now Mr. John Bracewell to come to the stage to present the prize in debating. So Mr. Bracewell, head of our debating team, will present the E.C. Moody Debating Prize, and it is also a tie, but first to Charles Seitz. And 
I'd ask Mr. Bracewell to stay and, and I'd ask Ms. Terrio to join Mr. Bracewell on stage again, please. Um, the following young man's winning two prizes. Um, one for the distinction in contemporary world given by Madam Terrio and E.C. Moody debating prize by Mr. Bracewell to Youssef Afif. You know, we did practice this Monday, and I did talk to him about it. It's just follow the leader, just do what everybody else is doing. Um, <laughs> thank you, Mr. Terrio. Alors que vous partez à l'aventure, nous espérons que vous serez nombreux à décider de faire votre vie à Montréal. Montréal est une ville dynamique, et je sais que vous avez tous la capacité de vous épanouir ici. Prenez le temps de maîtriser non seulement la langue française, mais aussi la culture québécoise. Maintenant, je j'aimerais inviter Mme Emily Guillet à présenter les plis de distinction en français. Pour français, enrichi le plis de distinction en français, again, it's a tie, de Zachary Chomsky et Yanni Pliagas. Thank you, Ms. Gia. And I can ask you to stay, Ms. Gia, and I'd like to invite Mr. Tom Downey to the stage and Ms. Kelly Pooling at the same time, please. Because the next young man's winning three prizes, Le Prix de Distinction en Français Régulier, the Yearbook Prize Award of Students and Students in the Graduate Class, who in the opinion of the Yearbook Advisor have shown leadership and spirit effort in capturing and publishing the memories of the year. And a prize for distinction in chemistry, Mr. Downey is the head of our science department, goes to James Downey. If you can ask Ms. Gia and Mr. Downey to stay. Thank you, Ms. Poulain. Um, what we decided to do a couple years ago is, is uh, during the subject awards to just have each student come on stage just once. So this is why we're grouping things together. Um, and I'd also invite Madame Terrio to come back up. Sorry, Ms. Terrio, she's getting her steps in today. And Ms. Palco to come to the stage, please. The following young man is winning four awards. Le Prix de Distinction en Français Plus. The, the Prix for Mon Contemporain the G.C. Ian Burgess Prize for Distinction in Creative Writing, and a prize for distinction in physics to Adolfo de Moro Molina. Thank you, everybody. We are now moving on to what we call the special awards, and I will now ask members of our board of directors and heads of school to present some of the next prizes. I would like to ask Ms. Caroline Deacher, a board member and current parent, to present the Thomas Henry Pentland Molson Prize for General Excellence to a student in grade 11 who has the second highest academic average for the year this year said Dolfo de Moto Molina.
Thank you, Ms. Deacher. I'll now invite Ms. Courtney Beckerleg, another board member and current parent, to present the Governor General's Bronze Medal for Academic Distinction in, in secondary school to a student in grade 11 who has the highest academic average for the year, Joseph Bellin. Thank you, Ms. Beckerleg. I would now like to invite Ms. Carol Manning onto the stage to present the next award. Many of you know Carol. Carol has spent 38 years as a teacher and administrator at Sowen House. Carol has a real passion for giving back to the community. This was something that she instilled in her students and in our, in our families. All of her students and their parents were required to help serve lunch to the less fortunate at Christ Church Cathedral. She oversaw many community-focused initiatives, including book drives, winter clothing drives, and programs with the NDG Food Depot. In 2016, she was awarded with the Sovereign's Medal for Volunteers for her decades of work. And this year's graduates, I believe, were the last grade eight class before she retired. We have a new award this year. Ms. Manning will be presenting the Carol Manning True to Others Award to a student of the graduating class who honors the legacy of Carol Manning, exemplifying selflessness, humility, and a giving spirit through his initiative to serve others both the Selwyn House and the Greater Montreal community this year, Jackie's son. <laughs> Jack is a little taller than he was in grade eight. Thank you very much, Ms. Manning. I would now like to invite Mr. Alan Rossi, old boy class of 79 and current board member to present the massive prize for effort to the graduating student for sustained effort, appreciation academics, irrespective of achievement. This year, the massive prize goes to Lucas Victor. Thank you, Mr. Rossi. I'd now like, I'd now like to invite uh, Madame Marie Pierre Lozon Laprise to present the next prize. She is a board member and also a current parent. Ms. Lozon Laprise is going to be presenting the Millennium Prize donated by the class of 1999, awarded to each year's grade 11 class to the student who best exemplifies in the judgment of his peers the following values tolerance, compassion, generosity of spirit, kindness, and concern for others. This is decided solely by the grade 11 class. Laurent Grolo. <laughs> Thank you, Madame Laprise, Lausanne La, 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 Laprise. I'd now like to ask Brendan Montgomery to come to the stage to present the next prize. The Red Belt Herald Award is a prize awarded to a student, a group of students, or a member of the community who, in the opinion of the headmaster, has shown initiative and creative nature in the organization or planning of some project within the framework of the school and worthy of recognition. Après avoir décidé de lancer un nouveau programme pour les élèves de 11e, 12e année, l'une des questions essentielles était de trouver un endroit pour les héberger jusqu'à juste ce que nous puissions acheter un nouveau bâtiment. Nous avons trouvé des bureaux à louer sur la rue Sherbrooke. Nous avons décidé de déménager notre bureau administratif et de rénover leur bureau de bâtiment Spears. 
Cela semblait bien, mais tous ceux qui ont déjà déménagé savent qu'il faut beaucoup de planification de travail pour y arriver. Tout le monde au bureau devait continuer à assumer ses responsabilités en même temps. Nous avons donc besoin d'aide. Un parent s'est porté volontaire pour nous aider à organiser et planifier le déménagement. Ce parent a été exceptionnel. Elle y a consacré de nombreux incroyables d'art, toujours été positive et je suis sûr que nous n'aurions pas réussi, du moins pas à temps, sans toute son aide. J'ai l'honneur de reconnaître et de remercier Mme Marise Deschênes, maire de Chêne du Don Class de 2025, en lui remettant le prix Red Path Herald. You have no idea how many hours and time she put in helping us get there. So thank you so much, Madam Deschen. I would now invite uh, Madame Marie Jose Boivin, board member, current parent, and Miss Kathy Fudimoto to present the Thomas Chalmers Brainerd Memorial Award to the graduating student in the opinion of the staff and of his classmates has most successfully combined a generous concern for the welfare of others enthusiasm for school life. This year, he goes to Porag Das. Thank you, Ms. Boave and Ms. Funamoto. Um, we have a very active uh, alumni association and, and we, we we get a representatives from every gra uh, every graduating class and, and although we only have two at this moment we have several that have said maybe um, so so I just want to recognize and thank William Cavero Gertain and Nathaniel Middleman for volunteering to be class reps for this grade Now, the tradition of a class gift dates back to the 1990s, where graduating students and their family gave a gift to the school and to the students who follow them. This year, the class of 2023 voted in favor of raising funds to encourage healthy living and having fun at recess. The class of 2023 recess fund will help purchase and maintain equipment for recess and lunchtime activities, provide new games, bike racks, and more benches for seating near Macaulay. We're very grateful and touched by the thoughtfulness of the class of 2023. Thank you. I'd now like to invite Mr. Tom Pitfield, old boy class of 93, board member and current parent, and Mr. Sebastian Lazois, head of our middle school, to present the next prize. The Jeffrey Russell Prize is, sorry, the Jeffrey Russell Prize is presented to graduates who is considered by the staff and his classmates to have demonstrated the values of Selwyn House through academic success, good sportsmanship, superior effort, citizenship, and leadership this year the Jeffrey Russell Prize goes to James Downey. I would now like to invite Mr. Michael Abadizian, class of 1988, a board member, in fact, the chairman of the board, and a current parent, and Mr. Neil Banerjee, head of our, of our senior school, to present the Lucas Memorial Medal. The Lucas Mem Memorial Medal, in memory of the founder of the school, this medal is awarded to the graduate who is deemed by the staff and his classmates to best represent the values of Selwyn House through academic success, good sportsmanship, superior effort, citizenship, and leadership. This year, William Carvalho Gertin.
Now, I'm going to ask William to stay. William? Um, William is our head prefect, and he is going to give the valedictorian address. Is it down there? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Sorry. William Caval Gettin will give the valedictorian speech. Yeah. Sorry. I mean, thank you, Mr. Downey. I mean, there's a small confusion, but nonetheless, yes. So my name is William Carvalho Gertin, and I'm truly honored to be trusted with the task of reflecting upon our collective journey and offering a few words of inspiration as we embark on this new chapter of our lives. You know, personally, I've been here since kindergarten, so I do feel like I'm in a unique position to chart the journey we've all been through, a journey made possible through the endless support of our parents, teachers, and the whole Selen community. So thank you so much. <clears throat> now I truly have the honor of experiencing this whole journey with 11 individuals. I mean, these 11 gentlemen were diverse in their strengths and passions, but nonetheless, we were always united through our, our memories we formed early on and continue to create. From taking naps after lunch, which, believe it or not, was one of the hard activities to do, to playing with our toy planes, toy cars, fidget spinners, blade blades, yolos, yo-yos, I mean. Or, uh, I mean, look, there's countless amount of things we've done, and we forced our parents to buy us. Nonetheless, these activities and memories fill us with joy, but emptied our parents' pockets. And now, as elementary school progressed, we were introduced to the real world. I mean, we actually had to wear the real school uniform, which is still a struggle today, and to actually have to learn and not take naps, which is still a struggle today. <laughs> but along the way, many new students joined the Band of Brothers, and I mean, they made the experience a whole lot better. Ces étudiants qui sont arrivés par groupe ou parfois seuls ont sincèrement laissé leurs traces. Ils ont solidifié une fraternité déjà existante. Avec tous ces gars, nous avons écrit notre histoire, des souvenirs pour la vie. Ensemble, nous avons franchi des moments importants dans nos vies, en passant par les sorties dans la nature, ce qui signifiait de passer quelques jours loin des yeux attentifs de nos parents. Au bas de l'école, nous avons vaincu nos premières rencontres avec les filles. Now, I remember summer going into grade seven. I was quite worried because I was unsure how all these new kids would affect what was already established. I mean, obviously they made the selling experience better. But what shocked me was just how much closer we got as a grade. I mean, they were coming from diverse schools and backgrounds, but within no time, it was as if they were with us from the very beginning. Together, we created all sorts of memories and had a a certain tradition of playing soccer. Now, I mean, this is not just like any other soccer. We like to call it Brexit style, which essentially means kicking the ball as hard as you can in whatever direction, regardless if it's towards your net or not. So as you can see, anybody could play this game, and it really united us. By that definition as well, yes, there were a couple of injuries. Balls to the head, a couple broken toes. I mean, I broke my shoe, so. But we've come to realize, or at least I have, is that if you die without any scars, then you never did anything worth fighting. And for us, we knew this risk. And the joy far outweighed the sacrifice. It was certainly, most, it was certainly worth fighting for. And whether it was through, you know, sports, academics, or the arts, we always pushed ourselves always trying to get the best out of each other, always trying to get 1% better out of every single one here. And I mean, whether it was in the classroom, the stage, or on the field, 
We were always there rooting for each other from the sidelines. In our life, though, we all experience those dark times, you know, those low points. But with them by my side, they felt like nothing more than a bump on the road. And it's because our brotherhood is not just a lofty idea that we pitch around back and forth. It is a tangible force that impacts our lives. It is the arms that lift us up when we stumble. It is the voices that echo encouragement in our ears. It is the heart that beats in rhythm with ours. Surely, recently, we've all felt it. A wave of sadness because it's over. And quite frankly, I think Mr. Deacon said it perfectly. It is these memories that make someone a home for us. But today marks the day where we must say goodbye. I know change might hurt. What I've come to realize is without change, I would have never met most of you. Without change, this brotherhood would have never been this strong. Without change, the very memories that make Selena a home for us would have simply never happened. But what's important about change is that we change to push ourselves, to take one step forward. And I mean, listen, I've spent a lot of time with you guys, and I genuinely mean this when I say that every single one of you here is capable of greatness. Trust me when I say this. I mean, like I said, like I've really been with you guys for a long, long time, so <laughs> trust me. But believe in yourself. Believe in what I'm saying. Go out there and take that risk. Don't be afraid if that pushes you a couple steps back because know that you can always come home and lean on your brothers. Now I'm going to ask my, my, you know, my brothers, just take a moment and look around this room. Every single person here is here for you. They care about you, and they want what's best for you. Remember this feeling. Because in those dark times, those seemingly low points in our life, let this be our beacon of hope. Let this feeling be our pillar of strength. So, as we get ready to leave this room, the one message I want to give to you guys is to go out there and become the greatest version of yourself, not just for you, but for us, the brotherhood that will always be by your side cheering you on. Thank you so much. really good. <laughs> I hate uh, having to follow. Maybe I should skip the headmaster's address. Um, <laughs> members of the board of directors, parents, friends, guests, Selwyn staff, and most importantly members of the 2023 graduating class, I'd like to start by congratulating all of our graduates who have successfully been completed grade 11. You should all be very, very proud of your accomplishments. For many of you, your time as Selwyn House student has come to an end. For Massimo, Tristan, Jonathan, Laurent Felix, Canastin, William Max, and three Lucases, it has been a full 12 years. It's a long time in one place. And we have Robert who joined us this year for grade 11. Now we are, we like Robert. We are very excited as a few of you will be back for grade 12. But you're all part of a very special community of Selwyn House alumni moving forward. Now I've always said that grade 11 set the tone for the school. How you talk, behave, wear your uniforms has direct impact on all of the other students. You are the leaders and the stu younger students look up to you. When I watch the way you conduct yourselves, how you interact, and what the teachers are saying about you, I am very proud. You guys are really an outstanding group of young men. Now, I won't be very long, but I do want to give you a couple of pieces of advice as you head out into the world. It's my last chance. First of all, remember to always remain true to yourselves. Take the time to understand who you are, your character, your strengths, and your weaknesses. Make wise choices that help you maintain a healthy body, a strong mind, and a broader sense of yourself and your obligations. Demonstrate ambition with personal humility by setting goals, maintaining motivation, and taking pride in your achievements. Articulate, articulate informed and well-thought-out views of your world. 
Know your responsibilities and always stand behind your decisions. We live in a world where everyone is trying to influence you. Remember what the American poet E.E. E. Cummings once said, the hardest challenge is to be yourself in a world where everyone is trying to make you be somebody else. So be true to yourself. You guys had a real challenging senior school experience. COVID bubbles in grade nine with no extracurricular activities of any kind. A grade 10 that saw sports and activities return with vaccine passports. And then you got to finish grade 11 as school life got back to normal. As you begin your next journey, remember that you are ambassadors for us, for your parents, and above all else, for yourselves. Remember to always be true to your world. Your integrity is your most valuable asset. Embody the qualities of the person you want to be through your values, your ethics, and your actions. Be a leader. Think courageously and critically to inspire hope, promote creativity, and solve problems. Collaborate with those around you to build belonging and create potential in your local, national, global communities. Take responsibility for your social and civic duty to do what is right, fair, and honorable. Sarah Ben Brathneck, author, philanthropist, and public speaker once said, the world needs dreamers and the world needs doers, but above all else, the world needs dreamers who do. So please be true to your world. Now school can be hard. In fact, every year of school moving forward, you should have to work harder to maintain the same average. Whether you're at school in the fall, where, sorry, wherever you are at school in the fall, give it your all. Don't leave anything on the table. Engage in school with purpose, trustworthiness, and reliability. Pursue a vision for excellence in who you are, how you live, and what really matters. Commit to excellence in your learning and life at school with determination, hard work, and perseverance. Approach every opportunity and challenge with curiosity and a willingness to get involved. And as Art Williams once said, I'm not telling you it's going to be easy. I'm telling you it's going to be worth it. So be true to your school. And especially, my favorite, don't forget, be true to others. Take the time to appreciate your family, your peers, your community, especially their cultures, traditions, and languages. Recognize the dignity and worth in those you meet by learning about their experiences, their diversity, and their impact on our community. Listen to the voices of others in meaningful relationships that are considerate, tolerant, and loving. Care for the needs of all people with sensitivity, diplomacy, and generosity of spirit. And as I said at our very first assembly this past fall, in a world where you can be anything, please be kind. I'd like to wish you all the best of luck as you move on to CJEP or a grade 12 program. Whatever you decide to do in any aspect of your life, take the time to do the best job you're capable of and always keep very tasks close to your heart. Follow the four truths. And you know what? Above all else, be happy. Life is short. Make sure you find a line of work and a group of friends that make you feel good about yourself and make you happy. You know what they say, happy people are always successful, but successful people are not always happy. And if I can end with my quote from my favorite author, uh, sorry, uh, you, you have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. That is, by the way, Dr. Seuss. My original quote was Abraham Lincoln, but I want Dr. Seuss instead. Um, anyway, so gentlemen, go out into the world, Choose your direction and become the person you want to be. Thank you very much. And now we come to my favorite part of the evening. <laughs> um, I'd like to invite Ms. Brenda Montgomery, who has been with us for 34 years, is an outstanding young woman and does a ton of stuff for us and is going to take us several people to replace her. Um, but I'm asking her to come up to present the diplomas to several of our graduates and Mr. Neil Banerjee, head of the secondary school, will now read out the names of each graduate who will come up to receive their diploma. Mr. Banerjee. go. Robert Leon. Robert has been a very welcome addition to the Selwyn community. I want to try that again, guys. Robert has been a very welcome addition to the Selwyn community joining us in grade 11. He's all, he always has a big smile and a positive attitude. His warmth and kindness was felt in all aspects of school life. Despite being new to the Selwyn community, it certainly felt like he has been there from the beginning. 
In academics, Robert was focused and very keen on giving his best in every class. And in athletics, Robert was an active member of our squash program. Most recently, he participated in March of the Living trip to Israel and po Poland. Robert graduates with honors and will be studying commerce at Marianopolis College. Oscar Boyle. Oscar came to Selwyn House in grade 10. A special note about Oscar. Prior to joining, joining Selwyn House, he attended grade seven to nine with the Stanford Online High School to support his brother attending online school. He is, an inquisitive and has, he is inquisitive and has a natural ability in English language courses, which led him to complete AP English in addition to his grade 11 English course. In the realm of sports, Oscar is an outstanding soccer player. He was awarded Juvenile Most Valuable Player in 2022. He graduates with honors and will be studying at Northfield Mount Hermon in Mount Hermon, Massachusetts. <laughs> Felix Martin. Felix joined Selwyn House in grade 10. You will often see him here early in the morning while quiet in the halls. Felix models self-respect and empathy at all times. Although Felix only came to Montreal in grade 10, it should be specially noted that he worked diligently in his French class and with his teachers to achieve his Delft diploma requirements. Felix a réussi l'examen B2 et son diplôme d'études de langue française de France d'éducation internationale. As well, he participated in the Cayley Math Contest in grade 10. This past May, Felix participated in the grade 11 OE solo trip. And in athletics, he backstopped the JV hockey team and always stepped up to the plate when called upon to defend the crease for the varsity hockey team. As well, he won the first ever boot camp award in 2022 athletic ceremony. Felix graduates with honors and will be studying commerce at Selwyn Preu. <laughs> Liam O'Donnell. Liam joined Selwyn House in grade 10 from Collège de Montréal. He, along with other students with a strong aptitude in French, have encouraged the use of French in the hallways. I've certainly benefited from practicing, French, practicing my French with him, and on the note of French, he also attended the weekend course to acquire his Delft diploma requirements. Liam a réussi l'examen B2 et reçoit son diplôme d'études de langue française de France Éducation Internationale. I got it right this time. In athletics, he was a member of the championship juvenile football team, and if you watched him play, you'd recognize his voice at kickoff. Griffins, are you ready? In hockey, he was named team captain of the Juvenile D3 squad, along with being awarded the Juvenile D3 Hockey MVP. Liam graduates and will be studying liberal arts at Selwyn House Preu. <laughs> Porag Das. Porag came to Selwyn House in grade nine. He is simply one of the kindest young men I've ever crossed paths with. Anyone who has had the good fortune to have an interaction with him will walk away feeling better about themselves. Porag was awarded the Aditya Pathak Memorial Medal, a high degree of humanity, and Francais Enrichi Nivia Manet at the Academic Awards in 2021. He participated in the Outdoor Ed Gantineau trip, and in athletics, he, he was awarded the Coach's Award for Futsal in 2022, the Juvenile Badminton Team MVP in 2023, and won the GMA MVP for badminton. Keep an eye on the upcoming issue of the Veritas magazine as Porag's, Porag's contagious smile will be featured on the cover of the magazine. Porag was awarded the Thomas Chalmers Brainerd Memorial Award and graduates and will be studying computer science and, and technology at LaSalle College. <laughs> Alec Hodgins. Alec joined the Selwyn community in grade nine. I distinctly remember Alec in grade nine in his first few weeks at school taking his socks off as though he was on the beach and playing spike ball across the street every morning before school started. Hodge is an incredibly talented artist and musician. He plays both saxophone and piano. He participated in the jazz band trip to Toronto and was awarded a school lifetime for his contributions to the jazz band. This year, he played the national anthem, as you heard from Mr. Downey, on piano at our weekly senior school assemblies. He was also awarded a grade 10 music prize at the Academic Awards in 2022. This is a little bit of a long one. I'm going to let you know. The artistic fruits of his labor can be seen in the tunnel where he created a mural to showcase Selwyn arts, athletics, activities, and academics. Not only an artist, he is also a strong mathematician and participated in the Cayley Math Contest in grade 10, the Pascal Math Contest in grade, time, grade 9. His creativity, passion, and devotion for the arts is similarly matched in athletics. He was an impactful player in juvenile championship football team, an excellent rower, a member of the rugby team, and a juvenile D1 hockey player. Alec was inducted as a member of the Sportsman Guild this year and was awarded for the McCall Prize for Art and the Distinction Prize for Music. He graduates with honors and will be studying at Choate Rosemary Hall in Wallingford, Connecticut. <laughs> um, 
Andreas Lazares. Andreas joined in the Selwyn community in grade nine. Another young man who comes to school with a smile on his face and is humble and kind to everyone he interacts with. Andreas is soft-spoken and approaches every situation with care and empathy. In academics, he participated in the criminal law mock trial and was a diligent student in all his courses. As an athlete, Andreas was, de was dedicated to the boot camp program and a rock on the back end for the juvenile D1 hockey team. Andreas graduates with honors and will be studying commerce at the Selwyn House, at, at Selwyn House Pre U. Lambros Papadopoulos, otherwise known as Lablo. Lambros also joined the Selwyn community in grade nine. He's one of eight prefects this year as a deputy head prefect and helped run the ha Haunted House for our elementary students and ran the Student Life Instagram account and announcements. He also co emceed with Michael Papaspiris a grad dinner dance. Most recently, I found out that outside of school, he had been committed to his heritage as a cultural Greek dancer where he will showcase his talents in Chicago this weekend with other members of his family. As a strong mathematician, he participated in Cayley Math Contest and the Interhouse Math Competition in grade 10. He completed his Bronze Duke event and participated in the Outdoor Red River trip to Gatineau. His service to others was recognized with a school life tie for his contributions to the contactivity program this, this past year. Lambros is a tremendous athlete and he participated in track and field, a valuable member of the championship juvenile football team and assistant captain of the juvenile D1 hockey team and was awarded most promise for the juvenile rugby team. Lambros was, a, uh, was awarded the GMA Sportsmanship Award this year and was inducted into the member of the Sportsman's Guild this year. His kindness radiates in all aspects of our community, be it on the ice, the field, hallways, and in the classroom. He graduates with a Veritas diploma, with high honors, and will be studying science at Selwyn House Pre-U. Alex, I need water, sorry. <laughs> Alexander Teriatsos. Alexander joined the Selwyn community in grade nine from Boston, Massachusetts. Alex has a great passion and knowledge for history, politics, and English language arts. Notably, he was one of the few who competed in the Regional History Bowl at Glebe Collegiate Institute in Ottawa in the varsity division. He also completed AP English this year in addition to his grade 11 English course. In the athletic realm, he was a member of the championship ju juvenile football team and was a key contributor to the juvenile D3 hockey team. Terry was also a member on the juvenile rugby team. Alex graduates with honors and will be studying liberal arts at Selwyn House Pre U. <laughs> Zachary Chomsky. Zach joined Selwyn House in grade eight. He is a humble young man who is diligent in the classroom and more notably, I always hear about how Zach gives a helping hand to his teachers while in class. He participated in the outdoor at Gatineau River trip and completed his Bronze Duke of Ed. Zach embodies the virtues of Veritas and for those reasons was a wonderful student ambassador for the admissions team. As a mathematician, he participated in the Fermat Math Contest this year and Cayley Math Competition last year. As an athlete, Zach was a center and key contributor of the offensive line on the championship juvenile football team. He was also a key member of the rugby team. Most recently, Zachary participated in the March of the Living trip to Poland and Israel. Zach was awarded the Distinction Prize for Francais Anglici and graduates with honors and will be studying commerce at Marianopolis. <laughs> Anthony Dimopoulos, also known as Dimples. Anthony has been a student at Selwyn House since grade eight. He is a good-natured and kind young man who is always smiling. And also, his Yaya's cookies are awesome. In academics, he participated in the criminal law mock trial with good knowledge of his role as a witness. Anthony a bien réussi l'année scolaire en français enrichi. It is no surprise Dimples is most known for his love, from pa love and passion for hockey. In Bantam, he was awarded top scorer. He was selected by the RCQ for the All-Star Weekend in Lévis, Quebec, and was awarded top forward for our juvenile D1 hockey team. Despite breaking his wrist twice in one season, I'm happy to see Anthony regain his confidence and is back in form with his scoring touch. Anthony graduates with honors and will be studying at Kent's Hill in Kent's, Maine. Roger Penn. Roger joined the Selwyn community in grade eight. He excelled academically and is often top of his class in science and math. 
again a strong or uh, sorry another strong mathematician Roger participated in the Canadian Open Math Challenge and the Interhouse Math Competition in grade 10 and 11 the Canadian Intermediate Math Contest and completed AP Calculus at our middle and senior school assembly Roger explained the Chinese New Year story and shared his family's New Year traditions with his peers and staff Roger has also completed his Bronze Duke of Ed. He is an excellent racket sports player, particularly he was awarded the Juvenile Badminton Most Promise for this past season. He graduates with high honors and will be studying science at Selwyn House Pre-U. <laughs> Jackie Sun. Jackie joined the Selwyn community in grade eight. He is a gentle giant and always smiling. Jackie was heavily involved in Selwyn school life. He completed his Bronze Duke of Ed and was awarded a school life tie for contactivity. He was an integral member of the senior jazz band and a talented drummer. As well, he showcased his vocal skills in the mixed choir with ECS, for which he was also presented a school life tie. Um, in addition to his musical attributes, Jackie was awarded the grade 10 art prize. In 2022 and 2023, Jackie was a key member of the Student Lunar New Year Assembly. As an athlete, Jackie was an enthusiastic member of the curling team. Jackie was awarded Disti the Distinction Prize for Music and the Carol Manning True to Others Award. He graduates and will be studying at Tav College. <laughs> Eric Sang. Eric joined Selwyn House in grade eight. He's an exemplary student and completed AP Calculus and Honor Science. He participated in the Fermat Math Competition in 2023, the Cayley Math Contest in grade 10, as well won the Pascal Math Competition in grade nine, and participated in the Interhouse Math Competition in grade 10 and 11. Clearly he loves math. For our Lunar New Year Assembly, Eric shared, shared the Chinese New Year story and talked to the school about his family's New Year traditions. He spoke specifically to the school about the symbolism of fireworks and firecrackers, kickstarting the Asian New Year holiday to ward off evil and bring good luck. Eric graduates with high honors and will be studying pure and applied science at Marianopolis. Ken Zhao. This is a two-pager. <laughs> Ken joined Selwyn House in grade eight and is a prefect this year as a learning prefect. Given his role as a learning prefect, it is no surprise that he is an accomplished student. Ken was awarded grade nine accelerated math with an unprecedented three-way tie, 98% at the academic awards in 2021. He was awarded the grade nine and 10 high honors and was also awarded the grade 10 accelerated math prize at the academic awards in 2022. He received the Robert Spears Memorial Award for all-round distinction in grade 10 and was inducted into the Cum Laude Society for his high average in 2022. In the world of math and science, he completed honor science and AP Calculus. <coughs> he was this year's school top scorer in the Fermat Math Contest. He also wrote McKaylee and Pascal Math Contest in previous years. Ken was awarded first place at the Canadian Open Math Challenge this year, placed third in the Canadian Intermediate Contest in grade 10, and participated in the Interhouse Math Competition in grade 10 and 11. He was the Wanstall House winner and went on to represent the school at the citywide Canadian team competition in St. George's this year. He, he completed his Silver Duke of Ed and participated in the Outdoor Ed Gatineau trip and was awarded a school life tie for Woodshop in 2022-2023. Notably, Ken was very involved with organizing events for Chinese Lunar New Year and empowered other students to share the stories of celebration. As an athlete, he played golf and was awarded Badminton Team Most Promised, uh, Badminton Team Most Promised Midget Player in 2022. Ken was awarded the Distinction Prize for Calculus and graduates with a Veritas Diploma high honors, and will be studying pure and applied science at Marinopolis College. <laughs> Yusuf Afif. Yusuf joined Selwyn House in grade seven, and I remember in grade nine when he was reserved and quiet in the halls, and it's an honor to see him at the forefront of our assemblies leading us as a prefect this year as our wellness prefect. This year, he helped organize a fundraiser for Pour Toi Point and present, presented about mental health mental health resources during November assemblies. Yusuf is an outstanding debater, winning the Aristotle Cup with Charles Seitz this past March. He competed in the National Senior High School Debate Championship in Calgary this year and was awarded a school life tie for debating in 2021, 2022, and 2023. He also won the Quebec Junior Debating Championship with Charles Seitz, and Yusuf and his debating partner, I'm assuming it was Charles, placed sixth in the Quebec Debating Championship Tournament in February. 
He has an excellent work ethic and is a conscientious and respectful student. He was awarded the grade 10 high honors at the Academic Awards. He wrote the AP Calculus exam and participated in the Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10. Yusuf participated on the Gatineau River trip and completed his Duke of Ed Silver. As an athlete, he contributed to the juvenile soccer program and participated in the GMA wrestling tournaments. Yusuf was awarded the E.C. Moody Distinction Prize for debating and the Distinction Prize for Contemporary World. He graduates with a Veritas Diploma, high honors, and will be studying health sciences at Marianopolis. Uh, Sam Brofman. <laughs> Sam, <laughs> I'm going to get there, Sam. Sam joined Sullivan House in grade seven. He's a happy go lucky young man who shines in her outdoor ed program. If you walk down the stairwell by my office, there's a picture of Sam in middle school on an outdoor ed trip where he's an, he has an orange slice in his mouth. The picture always comes to mind when I think of him, and, and it is a spirit and love of life that is so vividly captured. Sam showed tenacity and a positive attitude towards his academics and gave his best of himself this year. I'm proud to see him finish with honors. Outside of the classroom, Sam has a special skill in woodworking where he built an Adirondack chair in wood technology. As an athlete, Sam went into, comp into competition being fearless. Most notably, this, is, this was seen in football where he, has an essential, where he was an essential member of the championship juvenile football team. He was also a val valuable member of the varsity basketball team and awarded most improved player for baseball in 2023. Sam was inducted as a member of the Sportsman Guild this year. Sam, on a personal note, we've been through a journey together. At times it felt like we were riding 100 foot waves and in the end you found a way to calm the waters. Your perseverance is something that will stick with me, but above all, above all, your honesty and willingness to let me be a part of your journey is something very close to my heart. You promised me you will cross the stage and make me proud. Young man, thank you for honoring your commitment. It is great pride I get to say Sam graduates with honors and will be studying at Trinity Pauling in New York. practice that, I swear I did. It wasn't supposed to happen that way. Matisse Brosseau. Matisse joined Selwyn House in grade seven. In academics, he was a strong student in Francais Plus, a diligent mathematician, and excelled in his drama improv class. It is no doubt that Matisse has a passion for athletics. He was awarded the Juvenile Football Defensive MVP Rob Waring Award in 2022, a gold medal in Jimmy Wrestling, Juvenile Rugby MVP Martin Bonner Award, a captain on the championship juvenile football team. He was awarded best line in of Bob Anderson Trophy in 2023. 20, as well, he was a recipient of the McMaster Memorial Sportsman Cup in athletics. Matisse was inducted as a member of the Sportsman Guild this year, and he graduates with honors and will be studying at Choate Rosemary Hall in Wallingford, Connecticut. Thomas Cristofaro. Thomas joined Selwyn House in grade seven where he con consistently made it a priority to help those around him. I believe that Thomas's greatest quality is his empathy towards others. He's a guy that walks into a classroom, locker room, or school activity and brings joy. As you can see, he makes me chuckle. His talents can be seen in many areas, one of which is in the wood shop. Most recently, he gifted me one of his pieces, a wood caddy for some sodas. As well, <laughs> as well, Thomas participated on the Gatineau River trip in 2021. I'd like to commend Thomas on his academic perseverance. He worked diligently with his teachers to overcome hurdles and always approached a challenge swinging for the fences. As an athlete, his empathy towards others was, was evident, making him a team first player. He was awarded the bronze medal in GMA wrestling tournament, <laughs> GMA wrestling tournament in March 2022. A jack of all trades, he played on both offense and defense for the championship juvenile football team, and he was also a valuable member of the juvenile rugby team. Most recently, he participated on the March of the Living trip to Poland and Israel. Thomas graduates and will be studying commerce at Selwyn House Preu. Laborio Chicarello. 
L Laborio joined Selwyn House in grade seven. Shh, Thomas, thank you. <laughs> Laborio joined Selwyn House in grade seven. Another young man who values empathy and takes care of those around him. His kindness is felt daily and, is, and it is his calling card. Laborio was house head for Wansdell and is a prefect this year as, as a wellness prefect. He organized Golden Games and the World Cup Bracket Challenge. Just to let everyone know, I won. When I first heard Laborio speak in French at an assembly, I had no idea how well he communicates in French. Donc, c'est pas une surprise que Laborio a reçu le prix de le prix de français en Gide neuvième année at her academic awards in 2021. As well, Laborio participated on the Gatineau River Trip in 2021. As an athlete, he was a member of the championship juvenile football team, a member of the juvenile baseball team, where he led through his positivity and passion for the sport. Laborio graduates with honors and will be studying commerce at Marianopolis. <laughs> Jacob Kondo. Jacob joined Selwyn House in grade seven. He is a talented musician playing bass guitar. Music is his passion. And Jacob was awarded a school lifetime for music in 2022 and 2023. He was a key member of the jazz band and traveled with the band on the music trip to Toronto. A special note about Jacob's music journey, during the tough days of COVID, I distinctly remember Jacob thrashing on my electric guitar in, in the mornings in my office, extremely loud as well. It was awesome to see a young man of his generation connect back to hard rock and metal bands with the likes of Metallica. Jacob was an active contributor on the Indigenous Student Committee and helped initiate our first orange shirt day at the school. As an athlete, Jacob was, ded was a dedicated curler and was awarded Curling Most Improved Player in 2022. Jacob graduates and will be studying grade 12 at Cooper Academy. <laughs> Elisha Diane. Okay. Elisha joined Selwyn House in grade seven. He's a kind, soft-spoken, and all, he's kind, soft-spoken, and always in great spirits. In academics, Elishai was awarded the Grade Nine Math Award in 2021, and Francais Anglishi in Dixième Année at the Academic Awards in 2022. As well, he completed Honor Science. His love for the school was felt and shared as an ambassador for admissions. In athletics, he was a member of the Juvenile D4 soccer team, the track team, as well as a key defenseman on the varsity hockey team. Aside from being a student athlete, he also has one of the best beards in the school. He's given me a run for my money with my own beard. Elisha graduates with honors and is studying commerce at Selwyn House Preu. <laughs> Max Depetit, also a two-pager. So. <laughs> Max joined Selwyn House in grade seven. And Max was a Macaulay house head in grade 10 and is a prefect this year as a community prefect. On the note of community, on or off the field, Max makes everyone around him feel confident, welcome, and part of the Selwyn family. And I'd like to highlight a special moment that happened this year that was acknowledged by his fellow peer who will be an incoming prefect for the 2023-2024 school year. This past football training camp at Bishops, a new student from Collège Notre Dame came to Selwyn. Well, the student that was there to greet him was Max Depetit. What's special about this moment is that Yulin Billy made a point to share this in his prefect speech, and that Max made him feel welcome and part of the Selwyn community. And not only in that moment, but all year. More notably, Yulin shared he wanted to do for others what Max did for him. Max completed his Bronze Duke of Ed and participated on the Grade 11 solo trip. In academics, he's a digital... He is a diligent student who is consistently strong in his courses. He developed into a confident public speaker where he demonstrates poise, passion, and conviction. In athletics, Max is a gifted athlete. What stands out for me with Max when it comes to sports is similar to his role as a prefect. He makes the guys around him better. His confidence and belief is in his teammates permeates on the field and in the rink. He doesn't accept defeat and is determined to battle until the final whistle. He's a guy that will pull it, put the team on his back and conquer any challenge ahead of him. In football, he was awarded Juvenile Football Most Promised in 2022 was awarded the defensive MVP Rob Waring Cup and a captain of the championship juvenile football team. And coming back from a broken ankle this year, Max grinded to get back on the field. And if you were at the championship game, you got to witness a pretty awesome pick six. Most recently, Max was invited to compete in the CFC showcase. On the ice, he was one of the pillars on the varsity hockey team and a key member of the juvenile rugby team. He was inducted into the Sportsman Guild this year. He graduates with high honors and will be studying at Williston Northampton School in East Hampton, Massachusetts.
I would like to invite the following parents to join Ms. Brenda Montgomery, Head of Science, Mr. Tom Downey, and College and University Advisor, Ms. Jennifer Peterman, to please come up on stage. To James Downey. James has been a student at Selwyn House since grade seven. James is a prefect this year as a learning prefect. He's a leader who makes the effort to help all, at all school events, in particular, helped organize the Movember panel for mental health. James was a, keen was a keen ambassador for the admissions team and completed his bronze Duke of Ed. He is also the yearbook editor and photographer, and his dedication to the yearbook is remarkable. And gentlemen, many of those amazing pictures you, that captured your high school memories are thanks to James, ta his tireless efforts. He was awarded a school life for the yearbook 2022 and 2023. He is also a talented actor and was awarded a school life tie for his performance in Squad Goals in the play in 2022. In academics, he is an accomplished student and was awarded Francais Reglier Neuvième Année at the Academic Awards in 2021. In grade 10 high honors, grade 10 digital art, and the grade 10 math SN award. James was also the recipient of the Rob Waring Memorial Award. He completed honor science and participated in the Canadian Open Math Challenge and the Cayley Math Competition in grade 10. As an athlete, James was committed member of the hockey program backstomping the Juvie D3 hockey team where he was awarded the Juvie D3 Most Improved Player. He was also awarded the SHS Athletic Department Award in 2022. In this ceremony, he was awarded the Distinction Prize for Francais Rillier Chemistry Yearbook and the Jeffrey Russell Prize, and he graduates with a Veritas Diploma, high honours, and will be studying science at John Abbott. <laughs> Henry Feltham. Henry joined Selwyn House in grade seven, another young man who is full of joy and simply put, beyond kind to everyone around him. Henry represented our school in Battle of the Books competition in middle school where he won the QAS regional round and ranked fourth in the QAS battle at 20, in 2019 held at Sacred Heart School. In math, he participated in the, pa <clears throat> sorry, he, in math, he participated in the Pascal math competition in grade nine, Canadian Open Math Challenge in grade 10, the Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10 as well. At the University of Waterloo's Canadian Intermediate Math Contest, Henry was one of five students who earned certificates of distinction for, fi uh, sorry, was one of five students who earned certificates of distinction for finishing in the top 25% of contestants around the globe. Henry participated on the OE River trip, completed his Duke of Ed Silver, and was part of the school choir, which he received a school life tie for. In grade 10, Henry Feltham and his teammates won $5,000 for their chosen charity, The Depot, in the Youth and Philanthropy Initiative competition finals held at Selwyn House. As an athlete, Henry was awarded MS Fencing Most Improved Player in 2020. He was also awarded the Senior School Fencing Coaches Award in 2023. He was also a member of the rowing team. He was awarded the Byron W. Harker Distinction Prize for Literature and graduates with a Veritas Diploma, high honors, and will be studying arts and science at Marianopolis. <laughs> Mark Shelina. Mark joined Selwyn House in grade seven. Mark is an exceptional student and was awarded grade 10 high honors at the Academic Awards in 2022. He completed AP Calculus and participated in the Canadian Intermediate Mathematics Contest in grade 10, the Pascal Math Competition in grade 9, and an Interhouse Math Competition in grade 10 and 11. He also participated in the Criminal Law Mock Trial on the Prosecution Team and completed his Bronze Duke of Ed. Like Henry, Mark was part of the team that won $5,000 for their chosen charity for their, for their YPI competition. Mark is a talented fencer and was awarded the Middle School Fencing 20, uh, Most Valuable Player in 2020 and was awarded the Senior School Fencing Most Promise in 2022. He also participated in badminton. Mark graduates with high honors and will be studying pure and applied science at Marianopolis College. <laughs> Aiden Gold. Aiden joined Selwyn House in grade seven. Aiden is a caring young man and a bright student. He was particularly strong in math and participated in Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10 and the Pascal Math Competition in grade nine. I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge, Aiden, acknowledge Aiden's determination and perseverance. His tenacity to overcome challenges and work ethic towards academic success is noteworthy. In addition to Aiden's natural aptitude for mathematics and science, he is also an excellent writer and a strong student in Francais Anglishi. Aiden has a passion for basketball and was a member of our squash program. Aiden graduates and will be studying social science at Marianopolis College. <laughs> Ed 
Anderson Ham. Anderson joins Selwyn House in grade seven. Anderson is soft-spoken, kind, and joyful. Whoop. And I guess clumsy. <laughs> he is always conscientious as a student, and he is, and he is always engaged. He's a very strong mathematician and has a keen interest in chemistry and physics, along with being an excellent writer in both French and English. In addition to academics, Anderson completed his Bronze Duke of Ed. In athletics, Anderson participated in juvenile soccer, where he demonstrated a positive attitude and a solid work ethic. He was also a member of the Ultimate Frisbee team. Anderson graduates with honors and will be studying commerce at Marinopolis. <laughs> Aquarente Laborn. Aquarente joined Selwyn House in grade seven. He's a very creative writer and completed AP English this year. You will often see him in the Mac Mez early in the morning discussing his excellent knowledge on the topic of global politics. Aquarente was a valuable contributor on the Indigenous Student Committee, and he initiated the school's first orange shirt day and presented to the school during Truth and Reconciliation Week. In grade 10, Aquarente and his group won $5,000 for their chosen charity, The Depot, in the YPI finals. He was awarded a school lifetime for yearbook in 2023 and has been a member of the rowing and fencing teams. Aquarente was awarded the D.W. Christie History Prize and graduates and will be studying social science at Champlain College. <laughs> Jonah Levitan. Jonah has been a student at Selwyn House since grade seven. He's a young man who has a great sense of humor and the first one to dive into any activity and is all about school spirit. A talented actor, Jonah was awarded a school life tie for squad goals in the school play in, in 2022 and a school life tie in 2023 for his contributions as a stage manager for the, the somewhat true tale of Robin Hood and his role as one of the merry men, Will Scarlet. As a student, Jonah is diligent, hardworking, and, and accomplished in math and science courses. He was awarded Le Prix de Français Réglier dixième année at the Academic Awards in 2022. He is also an excellent mathemat mathematician, along with a keen interest in chemistry and physics, where he performs extremely well. Jonah participated on the Gatineau River trip, completed his Duke of Ed Silver, and was a member of the Grade 11 solo trip in May 2023. As an athlete, Jonah was a member of the Championship Juvenile Football Team, a member of the Ultimate Frisbee Team. As well, he was a member of the Case U13 Championship Basketball Team. Most recently, Jonah participated in the March of the Living trip to Israel and Poland. He graduates with honors and will be studying science at Selwyn House Priu. <laughs> Timothy Lewis Jeremiah. I don't think I've ever called you that. It's always been TJ. TJ has been a student at Selwyn House since grade seven. With hard work and determination, TJ has significantly pr progressed academically and continues to grow as a student. While quiet in the halls, TJ is a silent leader, particularly in athletics. He leads by example and does not back down from any opponent. In fact, the tougher the opponent, the more we see from TJ on the court and on the field. As a gifted athlete, he led the varsity basketball team. He has been the ambassador for our basketball program and is an inspiration to his younger basketball peers. It is no surprise that he was awarded the Alfie Paletti MVP for midget and juvenile basketball. As well, he was a member of the Case U13 championship basketball team and was also awarded the GMA MVP for basketball. In football, along with being awarded the juvenile football MVP in 2023, he was a key member of the championship football team. He was also inducted into the member of the Sportsman's Guild this year. He graduates and will be studying liberal arts at Selwyn House Pre-U. Leo Liu. Leo has been a student at... Let me start over. Sorry, Leo. Leo has been a student at Selwyn House since grade seven. He is, a cre he, is creative and an he is a creative and insightful writer, as well as a diligent student in chemistry, physics, and honor science. As an athlete, he demonstrated both skill and determination in, fen in fencing. As well, Leo participated in rowing and rock climbing. Leo graduates and will be studying, uh, will be studying arts, literature, and communications at Marinopolis. Lorenzo Manini Vanas. Lorenzo has been a student at Selwyn House since grade seven. He has a great sense of humor and promotes French language in the hallways at Selwyn. Il est un étudiant qui est très fort en français plus, a strong mathematician and an all-round hardworking student. As well, he participated in the criminal law mock trial as part of the prosecution team. 
Lorenzo keeps things simple in life. He is on task, goal-oriented, and extremely kind. In athletics, Lorenzo finished fifth in the GMA wrestling tournament in 2022 and was a member of the juvenile D4 soccer team along with rock climbing. Lorenzo graduates with high honors and will be studying commerce at Marianopolis. <laughs> Nate Middleman. Nate joined the Selwyn community in grade seven. He has a love for his school, which he shows with great passion in school life and for his peers. With those characteristics in mind, Nate was named prefect this year as a community prefect, where he organized and led Terry Fox activities for younger students. He also organized a haunted house for elementary school. Nate's natural ability to mentor younger students was evident in his participation in the Big Brother program, for which he was awarded a school life tie. As well, he was awarded a school life tie for his contributions to the school play squad goals. His innate ability to be a leader was also recognized with the school lifetime for leadership last year. He was selected as an ambassador for, the admission, for admissions to share his love for the school to prospective students. He attended the Gatineau River trip. I just want to clarify something. If you're there at the grad dinner dance, I did not take his underwear. We had the same underwear. Just want to make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> he attended the Gatineau River trip, completed his Duke of Ed Silver, and participated in, the, and participated in the Grade 11 solo trip in May. In academics, he's a very strong mathematician, a creative thinker, and, and participated in the Pascal Math Competition in Grade 9. In athletics, Nate has been a huge contributor to the Selwyn program. He was awarded Wrestling Most Improved Player in 2022, the Comeback Award for PE last year, gold at Jimmy A Wrestling, and had an impressive win at the All-Star Meet. As one of the camp captains of the championship juvenile football team, Nate embodied teamwork. Nate's the guy that would run through a wall for his coaches. Not surprisingly, he was awarded the Coaches Award for Juvenile Football 2023. He was also a part of the rugby team where he was awarded the MVP Martin Bonner Award this season. As well, Nate was the recipient of the SHS Athletic Department Award. With all, this, with all these accolades, he was, inducted in the the, in, he was inducted as a member into the Sportsman's Guild this year. Most recently, he participated in March of the Living trip to Israel and Poland. He was awarded the Moody Prize for Mathematics SN, graduates with the Veritas Diploma, high honors, and will be studying commerce at Selwyn House Preu. <laughs> Michael Papaspiros. Michael has been a student at Selwyn House since grade seven, and he bleeds black and gold and is an ambassador for our school. He understood the value of being a student athlete and conveys that message to future students. And while being a student athlete, Michael, Michael equally dedicated himself to the arts this year. A talented actor, Michael played Sheriff of Nottingham in the, t in the somewhat true tale of Robin, Hood, of Robin Hood, for which he was awarded a school lifetime. As a student, Michael is focused and hardworking, and he has a strong work ethic and pushes himself in all courses. As an athlete, Michael was awarded Juvenile Track and Field Most Promised Player in 2022 and was a valuable member of the Juvenile Rugby Team. As a football player, he was a key member of the Championship Football Team and was awarded the Offensive MVP William Molson Trophy. While a great football player, Michael's passion lies with hockey, and as the captain of the Varsity Hockey Team, it was no surprise that he was awarded the D1 Hockey RCQ Top 4 in 2022 in the Varsity MVP this year. He was inducted as a member of the Sportsman Guild this year, and he, was award, and he was awarded the Patricia March Drama Prize. Michael graduates with honors and will be studying at Choate Rosemary Hall in Wallingford, Connecticut. <laughs> Philip Pérez. It's close. <laughs> Philip has been a student at Selwyn House since grade seven. In my time with Philip over the past three years, Phil is a teenager with the mindset of an adult. He's wise, composed, and determined. He's an excellent student and was awarded the grade 10 Maths CST prize at the Academic Awards in 2022 and finished his high school with SN Math. Au niveau de français, Philip était tellement bon en français plus. Since joining Selwyn House, I've been trying to improve my communication in French. Et à cause de Philippe, il m'a donné la confiance à communiquer en français. Il jamais juge mon niveau de français, plutôt il m'encourage à parler en français. Donc merci Philippe. In addition to his academics, Phil completed his Bronze Duke of Ed. As an athlete, he placed, he placed fourth in GMA wrestling, participated in cross country running and futsal. Over the course of the year, Phil has been dedicated to weight training so much so that he got certified as a trainer and works at a gym training clients. And I just found out he presently holds the school deadlift record. <laughs> Philip graduates with high honors and will be studying commerce at Marinopolis College. <laughs> Yanni Pliagas. Yanni joined Selwyn House in grade seven. 
I'm sure if you ask anyone in this room, they will say one thing about Yanni. Man, is he polite. And every morning, it's always, good morning, sir. Thank you, sir. And he's just a kind-hearted young man. This year, he participated in the criminal law mock trial. And as a student, a special note of acknowledgement, Yanni has worked incredibly hard since grade 9 to improve his academic standings. And I'm proud to say that he finishes grade 11 with honors. In athletics, Yanni is passionate about basketball. His coaches say he's a pleasure to coach, and he's been a team first player. For his hard work, he was awarded the D4 Basketball Most Improved Player. He is also a member of the D4 soccer team and participated in the Halo race this year. Yanni was awarded with the Distinction Prize for Francais Anglici and graduates with honors and will be studying liberal arts at Selwyn House Pre-U. <laughs> Lucas Victor. Lucas has been a student at Selwyn House since grade seven, and Lukey always puts those around him before himself. His kindness and caring nature shines through his smile. He is an incredibly hardworking student with an impeccable work ethic. He's a natural leader both in and out of the classroom. He completed his Bronze Duke of Ed and was awarded a school life tie for his contribution to the Big Brother program. Lukey is a big contributor to the Selwyn House Athletics Program. He was awarded Bantam Soccer Most Profit, Promise, Juvenile Soccer Most Improved Player in 2022, and the Coach's Award for Juvenile Soccer in 2023. In basketball, he was awarded Most Improved Player in 2022, um, and he's also a competitive baseball player outside of school, and he brought his talents to SHS, where he was awarded the most Baseball Most Promise in 2022 and awarded Baseball MVP this year. He was also awarded the GMEA Baseball MVP. Lukey was inducted as a member into the Sportsman Guild, and most re recently he participated in the March of the Living trip to Israel and Poland. Lucas was awarded the Massey Prize for Effort, graduates with honors, and will be studying commerce at Marianopolis College. <laughs> Jacob Weinberg. Jacob has been a student at Selwyn House since grade seven. Jacob is a student that is quiet in the halls, but brings a wonderful sense of humor and joy in the classroom. He participated in the investment club and completed his bronze Duke of Ed. He is one of the few students who played guitar in my office during COVID, and I'm happy to know he still presently jams. At the academic awards in 2022, he was awarded Le Prix de Francais Anglici des Yemeni, and in athletics, Jacob was awarded a bronze medal at GMA Wrestling in 2022. He was a member of the 2023 wrestling team, played squash, and participated in rock climbing. Most recently, he participated in the March of the Living trip to Israel and Poland. Jacob graduates with honors and will be studying commerce at Dawson College. At this time, I'd like to thank Ms. Montgomery for the presentations for diplomas for students who joined Selwyn House in grade seven through grade 11. And I'd like to call upon Ms. Kathy Funamoto to present the diplomas to students who attend Selwyn House in elementary school. Joseph Bellin. Joseph has been a student at Selwyn House since grade six and was the house head for Lucas in grade 10. He's an exceptional student, a constant on the high honor roll, and was awarded the grade nine scholar award and for the second highest average. He was awarded one of our top awards in grade nine, the Ernst Brandl Memorial Trophy for all round distinction, the Talat Chugtai 85 award in grade nines for a student who has shown exceptional effort, achievement, and passion for health sciences. The Distinction for Grade 9 English Subject Award and Distinction for Francais Plus 9e année. He participated in the Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in Grade 10 and finished Grade 9 and 10 with high honours. This year he continues to be at the top of his class in courses like SN Math, Physics and Chemistry. He was involved in extracurricular activities and particularly he was a talented actor who was one of the merry men in the somewhat true tale of Robin Hood for which he was awarded a school lifetime. He completed his Bronze Duke of Ed and participated on the Gatineau River trip and the Grade 11 OE solo trip. Clearly strong in academics and the arts, he, is equally, he equally excelled in athletics. He was awarded track and field most promised player in 2022, a member of the senior soccer program, a varsity hockey player, and an integral player on the rugby program. Joseph was awarded the Governor General's Bronze Medal for highest average and academic distinction to senior school. He graduates with high honors and will be studying science at Selwyn House Pre-U. Caden Brassard. Caden has been a student at Selwyn House since grade six. He is remarkably kind and caring. His positive energy and love for the school is felt on a daily basis. He is simply an exemplary student. During grade nine, Caden was online throughout COVID. And so I think our first real interactions were in grade 10 and I was just blown away. He is really, really one of the kindest guys I've met. 
He was awarded grade 10 high honors at the Academic Awards in 2022, completed honor science and AP physics, as well as AP calculus. Caden participated in the Canadian Open Math Challenge this year and the Pascal, Pascal competition in grade 9. In athletics, he demonstrated his skill set as a member of the championship juvenile football team. As well, he participated in Ultimate Frisbee. Caden graduates with high honors and will be studying pre-engineering at Kent School in Kent, Connecticut. Conrad Porches. I think I missed something. <laughs> Conrad joined Selwyn House in grade six. He completed his Bronze Duke of Ed, participated in the outdoor Red Gatineau River trip, and was a member of the grade 11 OE solo trip. He is also a talented actor and played Friar Tuck in the true tale of Robin Hood, for which he was awarded a school lifetime. For the last two years, in grade nine and 10, he also met with, weekly with a senior participating in a conductivity program. As a strong student, Conrad was awarded grade 10 high honors at the Academic Awards in 2022. He was inducted into the Cum Laude Society and completed AP Calculus. Conrad also participated in the Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10. In athletics, Conrad had a run of bad luck with a couple of major injuries, and despite the setbacks, his per perseverance was absolutely remarkable. Outside of school, he is a competitive skier with the club to ski the Mont Tremblant, and at Selwyn, he was awarded the Bantam Soccer Most Promise, Track and Field Most Promise player in 2022, and this year he was an integral member of the varsity soccer and rugby team. He was also a member of the futsal team. Conrad was inducted as a member into the Sportsman Guild this year, graduates with a Veritas diploma, with honors and Sorry, with honors, and will be studying grade 12 at, L at LCC. <clears throat> Gabriel, De Gabriel De Carvalho. Gabriel has been a, Sel a, a student at Selwyn since grade 5. He is diligent, kind, and extremely empathetic towards his peers. He is an, e he is an excellent student, a creative writer, and a thoughtful contributor to class discussions. Gabriel has a natural ability in math, and he completed AP Calculus, participated in the Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10. Gabriel a, a aussi démontré un bon niveau de français en français plus. Gabriel is, hard, is a hardworking student athlete who demonstrated his talents in cross-country running, rock climbing, futsal, and was a member of the Case U13 Championship basketball team. Gabriel was awarded the Distinction Prize for Political Science and the Trubotsky Prize for Social Studies. Gabriel graduates with high honors and will be studying commerce at Marianopolis. <laughs> Charlie Felger. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie has been a student at Selwyn House since grade five. He is witty, has a great sense of humor, and knows how to lighten the mood when things get too serious. His sense of humor was always on display in his improv class. Charlie is a hardworking student with clear goals in mind. He excelled in all his courses and demonstrated an excellent work ethic. In athletics, my fondest memory of Charlie would be his debut in soccer, wearing Crocs. <laughs> to me, Charlie will always be known as Charlie Crockfelger. He also played two seasons of football as a quarterback, and he was part of the championship juvenile football team. While having talents in throwing, he was equally strong in catching, being a goalie, <laughs> questionable, being a goalie on, futsal, on the futsal team. Char Charlie was also a solid member of the baseball team. He was awarded the Moody Prize for Math CST, and he graduates. <laughs> Charlie. <laughs> he brings joy, I told you, he lightens the mood. He graduates with high honors and will be studying law, society, and justice at Marinopolis. <laughs> Ethan Kimmel. Ethan has been a student at Selwyn since grade five. A proud SHS student, Ethan embodies black and gold every day he comes in. He participated in the criminal law mock trial and has a natural ability in English language arts. He completed AP English in addition to his grade 11 English course. He is also a talented actor and was awarded a school lifetime for his, for his performance in squad goals in 2022. He participated in the jazz band and playing guitar and piano was awarded a school lifetime for his efforts. Similar to his talents for the jazz band, Ethan was another one of the members in my office during, I guess, the COVID guitar crew that jammed in my office every morning. I'm pleased to say that he continues to play guitar. In addition to academics and school life, Ethan worked very hard to complete his Duke of Ed Silver. An enthusiast of our OE program, he participated on the Gatineau River trip and was a member of the grade 11 solo trip. In athletics, Ethan was a member of the championship juvenile football team, was awarded a silver medal at GMA Wrestling, 
and a member of the juvenile rugby team. Most recently, he participated in March of the Living trip to Israel and Poland. Ethan was awarded the Distinction Prize for the DW Christ Christie History, and Ethan graduates with a Veritas Diploma, high honors, and will be studying, at will be studying Law, Society, and Justice at Marianopolis. Adam Cohen, a student at Selwyn House since grade four. He is soft-spoken, kind-hearted, and really takes care of those around him. Adam's love for Selwyn House is evident. He is an exemplary student-athlete for younger generations of students to come. Academically, Adam, Adam is, diligent, is a diligent student with an excellent work ethic. Adam was very involved in athletics. He was a valuable member of the championship juvenile football team, played juvenile soccer last year, and was a key member of the juvenile rugby team. He was, also a very he was also very dedicated to his training this winter, setting a high standard in the weight room. Most recently, Adam participated in March of the Living trip to Poland and Israel. Adam graduates with honors and will be studying commerce at Selwyn House Pre-U. James Martin. James joined Selwyn House in grade four, and while quiet in the hallways, he is an excellent contributor in the classroom. Academically, James is a very strong mathematician. He completed AP Calculus and participated in Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10. Athletically, James was awarded Senior School Wrestling Most Promise in 2022 and was a major contributor to the wrestling program. In the fall, he was a member of the soccer team and was a member of the varsity rugby team. James graduates with honors and will be studying in the International Baccalaureate Program at Bishop's College School in Sherbrooke. <laughs> Charles Seitz. Charles joined Selwyn House in grade four. He participated in the grade 11 OE solo trip and completed his bronze Duke of Ed. He is also one of our top debaters, winning the Aristotle Cup with Yusuf Afif. He competed in National Senior High School Debate Championship in Calgary this year, and Charles was awarded a school lifetime for debating in 2021, 2022, and 2023. In grade nine, he was named the Quebec speaker. He was named top Quebec speaker at the Canadian National Debating Seminar, which took place in October 2020. He is extremely strong. He is an, he is an extremely strong academic student and was inducted as a member into the Cum Laude Society for his high average. Charles was awarded the grade nine and ten high honors and was awarded grade nine and ten high honors at the academic awards ceremony. An excellent mathematician, he he completed AP Calculus, participated in Fermat, Cayley, and Pascal, and in the Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade ten. Charles also completed honor science. In athletics, much like his analytical mind and his analytical mind in academics, he was the defensive signal caller on the championship football team. He spent countless hours in the film room breaking down his opponent's offensive game plan. He's an accomplished wrestler, and he won a bronze medal for the GMA for GMA wrestling and a gold medal this February. I'd also like to take this opportunity to mention that we missed a recognition at our athletics awards. So it is with great pleasure to say he is inducted into the Sportsman Guild. Charles was awarded the E.C. Moody Distinction Prize for debating and graduates with high honors and will be studying peer and applied science at Marinopolis. <laughs> Jack Heenan Levine. Jack has been a student at Selwyn House since grade three. He completed his bronze Duke of Ed and is a hardworking student with, a, with an extremely strong work ethic. He was awarded the grade 10 scholar, second highest average in grade 10 and grade 10 high honors at the academic awards in the fall. Jack was also awarded the grade 10 Michael J. Alexander Wordsmith Award and was inducted into the Cum Laude Society for his high average. He completed AP Cal Calculus and participated in the Canadian, Interna Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10. Like in the classroom, he demonstrated an excellent IQ in all sports he played. He participated in juvenile soccer and was a key contributor to the JV hockey team. Jack was also a member of the baseball team. He graduates with high honors and will be studying pure and applied science at Marianopolis College. <laughs> J'aimerais inviter Monsieur Simard pour donner les prochains diplômes avec Madame Funamoto. Lawrence Kang. Lawrence joined Selwyn House in grade two. From there, he went on to Collège Notre Dame for, for grades seven to, 11, uh, seven to 10 due to elig English eligibility and returned to Selwyn in grade 11. He participated on the OE Gatineau River trip and readjusting to English education, 
Lawrence made a valiant effort throughout the school year and did extremely well. In athletics, he was, a, he was part of the championship juvenile football team and a member of the varsity basketball and rugby team. Lawrence graduates with honors and will be studying computer science at Lakeville College. Adolfo de Mota Molina. Adolfo has been a student at Salmon House since grade one. He completed his Duke of Ed bronze and was heavily involved in debating for which he was awarded a school life tie for debating in 2022 and 2023. Namely, he was named best Quebec delegate at the Canadian Student Debating Federation National Debating Seminar in 2021. Whew, that's a long one. In the realm of academics, Adolfo's work ethic is unparalleled and was awarded the, the Philip Quay Trophy Grade 9 Accelerated Math Award and an unprecedented three-way tie, 98% at the Academic Awards in 2021. He was awarded Prix de Distinction Histoire des Yemenais, inducted into the Cum Laude Society for his high average and was a grade 10 scholar for the third highest overall average in grade 10. He was also recognized for grade 10 high honors. He completed Honor Science, Francais Plus, AP Physics, and AP Calculus. Adolfo participated in the Interhouse Math Competition in grade 10 11, won the Cayley Math Contest, and participated in the Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10, and the Pascal Math Contest in grade 9. Certainly a distinguished academic resume, also an equally sound athletic record. As a AAA soccer player outside of school, no surprise he was awarded Futsal Most Valuable Player in 2022 and 2023. Adolfo was also awarded the GMA Futsal MVP. This fall, he was a key member of the varsity soccer team and was a place kicker for the championship juvenile football team. He was also a member of the rugby team. Adolfo was awarded the GC Ian Burgess Prize for Creative Writing, Francais Plus, Mon Contemporain, and Physics, and the Thomas Henry Pentland Molson Prize for General Excellence. He graduates with high honors and will be studying pure and applied science at Marianopolis. Lori Feng. Lori has been a student at Selwyn House since grade one. He is an exemplary student and he was awarded grade 10 high honors at the academic award ceremony. He completed honor science and AP calculus. Lori participated in the Fermat math contest this year and the Cayley math, math last year. As well, he participated in the Interhouse Math Competition in 2022 and 2023 and went on to represent the school at the citywide Canadian team competition in St. George's. Laurie also participated in the Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10 and placed third in the Canadian Open Math Challenge. Laurie completed his Bronze Duke of Ed and was awarded a school lifetime for Woodshop in 2022. In grade 10, he and his group won $5,000 for the chosen charity for YPI and his contributions to our school community and and in contributions to our school community, Lori participated in organizing Lunar New Year activities and shared the Chinese New Year story to middle and senior school students. In athletics, Lori participated in ro rowing, rock climbing, and was a very good fencer. Lori was one of few students with all fives for effort on his report card. Lori graduates with high honors and will be studying pure and applied science at Marianopolis. In our last section of graduates, we will move on to the lifers. Canastin Addo, a lifer since kindergarten. He is diligent and responsible. He's a young man with a good work ethic, but he's just truly a model student. He's always punctual, perfectly dressed, self-disciplined, and respectful to others. Canastin completed his bronze Duke of Ed and participated in the criminal law mock trial. He was intensely engaged in all of his classes. His work ethic, careful attention to success in academics is exemplary. Canastin is an, is an exceptional racket sports player and he excels in squash all three terms and was, all was always sportsmanlike on the court. In grade 10, he also demonstrated his racket sport ability in badminton. Canastin graduates and will be studying commerce at Marianopolis. Luca Barada Mateus is a lifer since kindergarten. Luca showed deep appreciation for Selwyn House and showed that SHS is a home away from home for our boys. He formed strong bonds with staff from kindergarten right up to grade 11. Early in the morning to late in the evening, Luca will often be seen in the MACMES or library preparing for his courses and setting an example for future students. In academics, he is a fantastic writer and a bright mathematician and thoroughly engaged in class. In grade 10, he participated in the Cayley Math Contest. As an athlete, Luca was a committed teammate and positive contributor to the ju championship juvenile football team. He was also a member of the JV hockey team, a member of rock climbing, and was part of the soccer program. 
Luca graduates and will be studying law, society, and justice at Marinopolis. <laughs> William Carvalho Garte is a lifer since kindergarten. William was the house head for Spears in grade 10 and is our head prefect this year. While having numerous re responsibilities as head prefect, sorry, while having numerous responsibilities as head prefect, the one he placed highest emphasis on was nurturing the sense of community for students and staff. Namely, Will always spoke to the notion of brotherhood and the importance of taking care of one another. By the way, this was not a planned speech and with Will's speech, so I'm really happy to hear that he talked about brotherhood tonight. He is humble, kind, and so thoughtful. Often when speaking with Will, it felt like I was speaking to an adult. William is, is an extremely talented actor and was awarded a school life tie for the school play Squad Goals in 2022. And in 2023, he received another school life for his performance as a lead as Robin Hood in The Somewhat True Tale of Robin Hood. Will completed his Bronze Duke of Ed and was awarded the Grade 10 High Honors at the Academic Awards in 2022. He was inducted into the Cum Laude, Cum Laude Society for his high average and was awarded the Harvard Book Prize. This year, he was, he was, highly engaged, he was a highly engaged student and excelled in economics, Francais Plus, and AP Calculus. As a student athlete, Will endured one of the toughest setbacks a teenager can face. Having injured his knee twice, I'm proud of Will's perseverance to not only recover, but provide inspiration to see positive in challenging situations. It is no surprise that he was the recipient of the Comeback Award this year. Will is a versatile athlete who was part of the U13 Case National Championship team, awarded Cadet Football Most Promised Player in 2019, and was part of the Championship Juvenile Football Team. Will was awarded the Patricia Marsh Drama Prize, the Distinction Prize for Economics, and the Lucas Memorial Medal. And William graduates with a Veritas Diploma, high honors, and will be studying commerce at Marinopolis. <laughs> Luca DeBroca, a lifer since kindergarten. Luca is so joyful, kind, and soft-spoken. His respect for others was exemplary. This was demonstrated in all aspects of Luca's contributions to school, both on and off the field, in the classroom, and in the hallways. Luca completed his Bronze Duke of Ed and participated in the Big Brother program this year. Academically, Luca is an exceptional student with an outstanding work ethic, and I'd like to commend his perseverance during his struggle with long COVID. Despite health challenges from COVID, he never gave up and bounced back with great success. Luca was awarded grade 10 high honors at the Academic Awards Ceremony in 2022. This year, he completed AP English and is a strong mathematician, while he participated in the Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10 and was an excellent student in Francais Plus. Athletically, Luca played AAA soccer and was a, fab was a fabulous leader being named captain of the varsity soccer team. His level of compete, determination, and sportsmanship are just a few qualities for which he was awarded the varsity soccer MVP and the GMA soccer MVP. He was also awarded juvenile futsal MVP, and in middle school, Luca was a member of the U13 Case Championship basketball team. Luca was inducted as a member into the Sportsman Guild this year. He graduates with high honors and will be studying pure and applied science at Marinopolis. <laughs> Luca Ferry, a lifer since kindergarten. Luca is a hardworking student who, who works diligently, diligently in the classroom. I'll always remember in grade nine passing by him in his math class, and he had the most organized notes, color coded, titles highlighted and detailed. It is no surprise that Luca excelled in his courses. Along with his academic accomplishments, he also completed his Bronze Duke of Ed. A talented athlete, Luca was awarded Midget Soccer Most Valuable Player in 2022, Most Valuable Player in Midget Basketball, and was a major contributor to the varsity soccer, basketball, and baseball team. He was also a member of the U13 Case National Championship basketball team. Luca was inducted as a member into the Sportsman's Guild this year. He graduates with high honors and will be studying commerce at Marianopolis. <laughs> Max Flanon, a lifer since kindergarten. Max is an incredibly curious young man who is remarkably bright. His passion for math and sciences were evident as well he has a clear talent in digital art for which he was recognized with the Grade 10 Digital Art Award at the Academics Award Ceremony in 2022. This year, Max completed Honor Science and AP Calculus. He participated in the Canadian Open Math Challenge in 2023, the Interhouse Math Competition and the Canadian Intermediate Math Competition in Grade 10. 
Max a démontré un niveau exceptionnel en français plus, and it was really amazing to see that Max is perfectly bilingual and communicates exceptionally in both French and English. Max was also awarded the school life tie for debating. He and his group won $5,000 for the chosen charity for YPI, and as an athlete, he participated in rowing, rock climbing, and was awarded senior school fencing most improved player in 2023. Max graduates with high honors and will be studying pure and applied science at Marinopolis. Laurent Gerlot, a lifer since kindergarten. In my three years with Laurent, what stood out for me is that he puts his peers before himself. And you heard about that tonight. He is an advocate for them and makes it, makes it his priority to ensure they are supported. Laurent is also a passionate chess player and was one of the few boys that brought chess into the daily lives of senior school this year. In academics, Laurent was awarded Le Prix de Distinction d'Histoire Sorry, Le Prix de Distinction d'Histoire Neuvième Année and participated in the criminal law mock trial where he had a good understanding of legal matters during that trial. It is no surprise he was the recipient of the Distinction Prize for the Vincent Prager Law Award. As an athlete, he participated in badminton and futsal. Laurent was also awarded the Millennial Prize donated by the class of 1999 and graduates with honors and will be studying law, society, and justice at Marianopolis College. Tristan Lloyd, a lifer since kindergarten. Tristan brought his innocence from elementary school to senior school. In grade nine, I distinctly remember the numerous games of hide and go seek where, where he and his peers ran through the various buildings at Selwyn House. Academically, Tristan is engaged and brings positive contributions to all his courses. He excelled in math and he grasped concepts quickly. He participated in the Canadian Open Math Challenge in grade 10 and the Pascal Math Competition in grade nine. As an athlete, Tristan participated in juvenile soccer, wrestling, and badminton. Tristan graduates with honors and will be studying commerce at Marianopolis College. <laughs> Massimo Lorenzetti, a lifer since kindergarten. Also known as Zetti, an extremely bright student who has an awesome sense of humor. He is incredibly polite, respectful, and always makes you laugh. As we heard from Zeddy at the grad dinner dance, he's, a, he's super appreciative of Selwyn's outdoor ed program, where he participated in the Gatineau River trip and was a member of the grade 11 OE solo trip. He also completed his bronze Duke of Ed. Massimo brought his positive energy and sense of humor to the theatrical world. A talented actor, Massimo was awarded a school lifetime for his role in squad, his role in squad goals and one of the merry men in the true tale, in, in the true tale of Robin Hood. In academics, he was awarded grade 9 and grade 10 high honors, completed AP English and calculus, as well participated in the Can Canadian Intermediate Math Contest in grade 10. Zeddy is a skilled athlete, and he was awarded bronze medal at the GMEA Wrestling Tournament in 2022, and was a member of the championship juvenile football team, and was awarded the juvenile rugby Pete Govan Coaches Award this year. Zeddy was inducted as a member of the Sportsman Guild this year. He graduates with high honors and will be studying science at Selwyn House Pre-U. <laughs> Jonathan Michaud Bang, a lifer since kindergarten. Jonathan is a mature young man who takes care of his peers. He has a great sense of pride for Selwyn House and wears the crest like a badge of honor. He's extremely hardworking and excelled in his courses throughout senior school. As an athlete, he was a huge contributor in the soccer and futsal program where he was awarded the MVP for Juvenile D4 and in badminton he was awarded Most Valuable Midget Player in 2022, clinched the bronze medal at GMA Tennis Championship and was a member of the Selwyn tennis team that won the Juvenile Banner. He was inducted into the... He was <laughs> He was inducted as a member of the Sportsman Guild this year. He graduates with honors and will be studying at Trinity College School in Port Hope, Ontario. <laughs> Felix Seabag, a lifer since kindergarten. 
In academics, Felix is a strong writer and completed AP English in addition to his grade 11 English class. He participated in the Cayley Math Contest in grade 10 and completed his Bronze Duke of Ed. In athletics, Felix was a member of the Case U13 championship basketball team, a key member of the varsity basketball team, and a member of the championship juvenile football team. Most recently, Felix participated in March of the Living trip to Israel and Poland. He graduates with honors and will be studying commerce at Marianopolis College. That concludes our presentation of diplomas, gentlemen. So congratulations to you. I'd like to give special thanks to April Wong, who compiled all the accolades of our distinguished young men. Without her support, it would not have been possible to highlight the boys' accomplishments. So thank you, Ms. Wong. As well, a huge thank you to the staff from kindergarten right up to grade 11 who are integral in shaping the young men before us. Aux parents, merci pour votre soutien et encouragement. Gentlemen, félicitations. Je suis tellement fier de vous et j'espère que chacun de vous fera quelque chose incroyable dans, ton vie, dans votre vie. Merci. Um, having done that 11 times, um, I, I, can we give Neil a big round of applause? It is. It is very hard. Um, I, f I just have a few announcements to make. Um, first of all, I'd like to uh, throw out a couple of thank yous as well, especially, sorry, there's lots of people who need to be thanked, but I'd like to thank the, the IT guys. Uh, I know Jasmine's over there working a slideshow. So thank you to Jasmine. A big thank you to Mark Watson, who, um, who is the guy who organized all the prizes and he did a fantastic job. So thank you very much, Mark. And I don't know where she is, um, but, but Miss Walker somewhere, there's Miss Walker. Um, a big thank you to Miss Walker. She really, really does run this school. So thank you, Miss Walker. Just to, to, for an orderly finish, um, after the ceremony, there will be reception for all graduates and their families, and it will take place in a guzo yard underneath the tent. In order to make the recession as orderly as possible, we'd like to follow these procedures. The platform party, board members and award presenters, followed by the grade 11 students, faculty and staff next, and then invited guests. I'm gonna call on Alec Hodgson one last time to play with O Canada for this school, so please run. Thank you very much, and that concludes the 2023 Selwyn House Grade 11 graduation. Thank you very much.